officers would be at the racing at Ferry House Easter weekend. We'll go for then. We Roger Casement is on his way from Germany with a huge arsenal. I've spoken to Old Mac Beale. He's organizing the troops to come from all over the country to join us. Irish woman, in the name of God and of the dead generation, from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland, through us, summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Send me, Padre Pierce. leaders were sentenced to death at Cumbinum Jail. Thomas Clark, IRB secretary, born in England to Irish parents, was a shopkeeper and a long-time activist. He was the oldest man to be executed that week. Patrick Pierce, Commander in Chief, and his brother Willie. Patrick was a teacher, a barrister, and a writer, a poet. He wrote this poem for his mother the night before he died. I do not grudge them, Lord, I do not grudge. My two strong sons that I have seen go out to break their strength and die, seeing a few in bloody protest for a glorious fate. They shall be spoken of among their people. The generations shall remember them and call them blessed. But I will speak their names to my own heart in the long night. The little names that were familiar once round my dead heart. Lord, though I heard on mothers, we suffer in their coming and their going. And though I grudge them not, I weary, weary of the long sorrow. And yet I have my joy. My sons are faithful and they fought. Ready! Our national flag. On October 19th last, two naval officers of our national army, Lieutenant Gillian Power and Petite Officer Greg Hamilton, presented us with a copy of the proclamation and our national flag as part of the 1916th century celebrations. The flag will be raised in every school in the country today. So 